Fort Sumter was where the American Civil War began, and this is GMT's game on the secession crisis from 1860 to 1861. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Legendary Tactics. This is a, an app that recently came out, um, and I just got it yesterday. So I am literally playing my first game. I played through the tutorial, and I have a pretty good feel, I think, for how the game plays. It's not actually that complicated. There's um, some strategy and so forth, but the entire game plays pretty quickly. Um, even the, um, you know, the, if you play with the cardboard version, uh, you only uh, can expect to spend maybe 20 to 40 minutes on it. So it's a fairly quick game, and this, there's some neat strategic options here. So I won't go into all the rules with this one. I'm just going to play, but I'll do maybe another uh, video on how to play uh, in more depth. Uh, but uh, basically, the, the first is to choose an objective. Um, so I'm going to look... Um, at this one and uh, so the abolitionist space and the Washington space. So I think I'm going to go for the Washington space because the abolitionist space is not, that's this uh, political, uh, or sorry, public opinion one here. So um, I'm going to be focused on Washington anyway because it's, it's uh, one of those key territories. You can see some of them are outlined in white. And so they are uh, you know, more key territories there. Um, this uh, card doesn't, uh, it's three ops, and you can see on the Union side, so I'm going to use the blue events. This can be utilized by either, but the Peace Commissioner isn't on the board yet, so that's just a pure ops uh, card, as is that one. <laughs> so we've actually got pretty good, uh, pretty good ops uh, here. So um, I think uh, there's one... Um, secessionist event and it's only one op so I think I'm just going to power through with tons of ops this uh, this uh, turn and we're going to start off it might be signaling my intentions but I will do my best to take control of Washington right out of the gate um, why not and then we'll move on to take the other political spaces there and then um, I'll, uh, I'll maybe look to grab some of the other key spaces here, either border, maybe border states now that he's gone all in on uh, armaments. I don't think he's going to be able to um, overpower me on uh, ops points here. So uh, let's go for the... Um, I'll take move more on the public opinion because the, the event can potentially help me uh, remove some places, some pieces uh, from there. So um, you'll see that little burst of light that came from the fact that the uh, game just moved through another level of uh, crisis or another level of, up to escalation, which gives me a couple of tokens. Um, but you don't want to push through and use all the tokens so that you um, you bust into the final crisis because that costs you a victory point if you do it first. You do get four tokens uh, as a as a gift <laughs> but uh, it costs you a victory point which is this is not a big scoring game so here's my last um, move for this um, this turn and I think again if I can I think I'm gonna try and grab the secessionists as well I'm really gonna send him I don't know if that was a good move because I may want to just go strictly with a public opinion but we'll see I don't know he's got a few different fires to put out and uh, you know what? No, I think I, I think I have to do this. I have to put uh, I have to put the tokens in the public opinion. It just I should just lock that down. Maybe getting a bit greedy here. So yeah, well, as it turned out, it wasn't uh, too big. But I I had no idea what his last move was going to be. If it was my last move, I would have uh, looked at it a bit differently. But. Anyway, so we're going to look at, uh, I got the political uh, area so I can redistribute uh, my guys around. I don't see a real need to redistribute, so I'm just going to stick with that. Same with the uh, uh, with the public opinion uh, spaces. I don't see a re need to really redistribute. Don't need to boot him out, and I've got full control, so I think we'll just move on from there. He's going to redistribute so that he gets the full uh, points for the uh, armaments. I managed to pick up two victory points there, which is pretty good. And I can remove two tokens from political or 
uh, public opinion spaces. And he, I get a victory point for reaching my objective. He reached his, ob oh, actually, uh, state assemblies. So he did not control that one. So I actually got the victory point for that, which is pretty cool. So that was a bit of a pleasant surprise. Um, now I'm gonna actually maybe remove uh, a cube from Washington. I wanna build up my, my pool. Um, and yeah, maybe we'll just pull that back because I want to make sure that I'm, I have pool, you know, uh, some extra uh, tokens in my available pool. Not only because they're uh, gives me more flexibility without bursting through to the next level of uh, the crisis, but um, gives me maybe some more flexibility as well. So Fort Sumter, that one is going to be tough <laughs> to hold. I think he's got a pretty strong hold on that. Um, yeah, I'm already in the abolitionist uh, space, so I like that. And, uh, and the I can remove two tokens from any space, so I'm going to take that one. It gives me some flexibility. And I've got decent ops again this turn. Um, add up to three tokens to public opinion. Uh, or I'm going to keep that one till later because that's a good defensive card. That's just the ops. Another Peace Commissioner one, and that's just the Ops as well. So Now, you do have to watch which ones you, you take for the Final Crisis cards. The card that's left behind will serve as the Final Crisis uh, thing. So um, I'm probably going to... Um, oh, that's a tough one. I don't know if I want to keep a kind of a more balanced uh, kind of uh, approach and have one of each, or whether I want uh, multiple, you know, secession... Uh, things. I'll probably go with another secession, so I'm probably going to play this guy for the ops. Um, now, I've got that, the, this card here, New York Press, is a good defensive card, so I can protect my public opinion spaces if I need to. This one is high ops, so I'm going to lead with this guy. And um, I think I'm going to try and grab the... Uh, the secessionist uh, spaces as well. I don't know if I'll have any luck. He's he has loaded up on the armament space, but obviously he's going to spread his wings this turn, and uh, he's going to start challenging me. So I'm just I'm, I'm I'm pretty comfortable though. Oh, he's got some ops there. Okay, so he is spreading things out. Um, so I'm going to use my ops here. Now this will burst me through to the next level of the crisis which will unlock three more cubes but i'm i'm protecting my turf and the last one is really going to protect my turf uh as far as the um Human it's a very defensive one i can remove some cubes extent. but i can also but use these three cubes now i have to be careful be because i'm getting up to the point where uh if i use a brand new cube i'm going to burst through the final crisis and that's going to be a disaster so well, not a disaster, but I'll lose a victory point. I'd rather not do that, um, even though I'm fairly, you know, fairly in control so far. Um, okay, so he's put the peace commissioner down there. That's what he's awarded when uh, the when uh, the other player busts through the the tension. Uh, the they get three cubes. Uh, the bonus for the um, the uh, you know the player that bursts through second is they get the peace commissioner, which blocks any cubes either coming or going from, in this case, Washington. So kind of an interesting choice. Um, I'm gonna take the event here, because again, I'm trying to, I'm gonna remove two cubes from the public opinion space and see if that's enough to stave him off. And he only had one up, so he did challenge me in the, uh, in the political spaces, unfortunately. Um, but I held on to the abolitionist space. It was a nice kind of like, you know, low-key uh, objective, which is great. And uh, so that's, um, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm probably just going to keep those two cubes there. Um, yeah, I love these uh, low-key objectives like abolitionists. You're already there anyway. And so it gives you that kind of, a, you know, you're not obviously uh, signaling your intentions. Um, and you get, uh, you know, a victory point out of it. So that's a great, uh, great thing. I, I like leaving a couple cubes in the border states. I think that makes sense to me. So I'm going to leave that there. Um, and I can um, move or remove uh, two, uh, two um, 
uh, tokens in the political sphere. So I'm going to do that uh, because I have the, um, the pivotal uh, space control. So I'm going to pull from this one and I'm going to pull from this one. So that's good. I man managed to keep my uh, control on the political sphere, which is good. Not challenging him for armaments, though, at all, which is not good. I probably should be doing that, but at the moment, the strategy seems to be working for me. I pick up a victory point for political uh, sphere and public opinion, and my objective card is met, so I can remove up to two tokens from any one space. And uh, I think I think I might challenge... I don't know what'll stress him out more. Um, maybe we'll remove two from the armament space and see how that how he reacts to that. And uh, so we move into the third and final turn. As you can see, it moves pretty quick. It's not a long game. Uh, let's see. So we want to. Yeah. So that's a good one to have. I control the newspapers. Now the political or pu sorry public opinion uh, does not get used in the final crisis. So you don't get. Uh, to any extra points for that. Um, so I'm wondering maybe if I challenge him on Fort Pickens. I don't have great ops. That's a one-up card. I can beef up the political. That's a good defensive card to have. Uh, that's ops only, and that's coming. ops only. So not a great move but in terms of or not a great uh, setup i don't have a lot of ops i've been blessed so far to have a fair number um but the newspapers uh, yeah you know what i still think i've got a control of that already so let's uh take that one and i'm going to oh hang on public opinion is in the final crisis i thought it didn't have any effect but i'm apparently wrong uh, this is my first game after all. So, um, all right. So I'm going to save this event to defend my political uh, space. I'm going to... I can't rearrange the cards, so they have to stay put. I like it when you can rearrange the cards and put the one you want to save for last uh, on the far right, and then that gives me that. Um, okay, so um, I'm going to just quietly challenge... Um, Begin to challenge maybe Fort Sumter here. Um, kind of make sure that he's not uh, too comfortable. But I think a good move might be uh, to take the two ops and go into Texas in the Deep South. And it kind of locks that down as well. But let's see what he does. Oh, okay, he's just kind of spreading out a little bit here. Um, okay, so I'm going to just... I'm going to do that. I'm going to just take the... It gives me the secessionist uh, sphere under my control. And, loyal and uh, I've got this defensive card here back. for the political spaces, so but I can uh, remove if he challenges me, and he does. So... Okay, hmm. I don't have the cubes available, so I'm going to have to use this for removal. Uh, so I don't lose a victory point. It's fairly, I'm fairly comfortable, <laughs> fairly dominant here. Uh, but, um, I don't know. I'm just going to be careful. Um, so, um, I'll place up the tokens. Mm, maybe it is worth the victory point just to, just to blow through and dominate the... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take the victory point loss um, because, honestly, I think I can afford it. I wouldn't normally, but I think I can afford it when being up 6-2. to two. I've got the newspaper space for another victory point, and uh, who knows um, how the final uh, objective is going to go. But I, I, th I feel like I'm fairly in control of this game, so... It should be good. It'd be fun to play against a real uh, player as well because I think that'll vary the experience a little bit. So he is challenging me on that. Um, but I maintain the uh, political spaces, which is, uh, which is okay. So I'd, because of the pivotal space, I can remove uh, a couple of cubes. So I will do that. I'll just get rid of them evenly. We 
person can be rightfully and I don't see any to need to switch around the public opinion uh, spaces at all so he's gonna boot me out of Fort Sumter so that may not have been the best move in the end but you know it was uh, at the time I was thinking I might challenge him so and he's gonna rearrange to take good control of Fort Sumter this uh, round which is worth a victory point at the end of the game because that was the uh, place where the war started so whoever's in control of that gets an extra bonus uh, point at the end of the game uh, the objective card um, of course I get my newspaper space love the low-key nature of it and I got the northern state houses as well uh, so that's why he made that play so that's interesting I can remove uh, any two tokens from any one space I think let's see here so I am gonna pull him out of Fort Sumter I think that makes the most sense because um, that saves him a victory or prevents him from uh, you know what oh it has to be from one space right uh, yeah. If there is any one yeah, because pulling it out of border states, if it was two, two in total from any spaces, I would, I would probably pull him out of the secession spaces. But I'll take him out of Fort Sumter, and that's going to mess up his plans for the final crisis. So now we order the cards in whatever way we like. Um, I'm going to just split them up. I'm not exactly sure what the strategy is here for the final crisis. Um, but we got our cards, they match, so um, I have to remove uh, tokens, either two from any space or one from uh, a secession space. So, uh, well, with the hopes that I will maybe place it back later, I'm going to pull one from the secession space, I think. Yeah, I really want to keep a lock on the political, so... I've got that one locked down, and I don't know what uh, what way he wants to go. So, um, all right, let's see here. Uh, so these ones match, so I have to pull um, more pieces back. All right, so, well, this is easy, though, because I've got a lot of extra uh, tokens in that. And then finally, they do not match. So I may move uh, up to two tokens from any spaces and or the token pool. Now the token pool, uh, you get victory points, I believe, for every three of the tokens there. So I'm going to hang on to three the there, the time, and I'm going to so I can play into secession space, which is what I want. He's in an armament space, so you, are uh, thus you know what? I think this should work. Ah, shoot. Well, we can get control of that one, but we can't get control of that. So anyway, not quite strong enough, <coughs> and he's going to get Fort Sumter in the end. So final scoring, I've got a fair lead here, 10 to 3, so we'll see how this goes. Got my political space, he got his armaments, I got public opinion still, and he gets the point for Fort Sumter, but it's pretty resounding uh, unionist victory. Um, and hey, you know what? This there's some neat strategy in this game. I think um, the AI, if, if I can beat it this early, uh, I'm, I mean I'm pretty good at games overall. But if I can beat it this early, I don't know if the AI is going to give much of a of a challenge. I'll have to see in the settings if there's a way to boost it, uh, make it harder. But uh, uh, but the game itself, I think it's a nice, quick playing, fun little game. I'm going to challenge one of the other players on Legendary Tactics and see. Um, if we can uh, have a game soon and uh, thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far please like please subscribe and th you know again this is uh, uh, nato potato uh, with legendary tactics thanks so much for watching and take care